Congratulations, you've picked a very powerful database system. LucidDB is a Java application. Like all Java applications, it requires a Java runtime environment. On Windows, the Java runtime environment often likes to install itself in C colon backslash program files. Lucid's installer, a batch file, has trouble processing file names and folders with spaces. So I've moved the Java runtime environment directory and all associated files one level up into the root of my C drive. So my location is C colon backslash Java backslash and you can see JRE6 here is where my Java runtime environment is kept. Now we need to tell Windows about this. So to do it system-wide, we can go to Start, right-click on Computer, choose Properties, click on Advanced System Settings, Environmental Variables, then you will click New here. Since I've done this before, I've already got a variable here set. So here's what it looks like to edit the thing. You give the variable name, all capital letters, Java underscore home, and then specify the direct path to the JRE. All you've got to do is hit OK a couple of times, and that's it. Now, any form of Java application should be ready to execute on your machine. Now let's move on to installing LucidDB. LucidDB contains not only the database server itself, but also a SQL client called SQLine. To install LucidDB, all we need to do is unpack this zip file, which was downloaded from lucidDB.org, go to a command line window. Let's make sure our Java runtime environment variable is set. go into the folder where we extracted LucidDB2. And there's a directory here called install, which includes the install.bat file that we'll need for Windows. What this file does is it goes through various directories that belong to LucidDB and collects jars that need to be available to the Java runtime environment via a class path, and it creates a batch file for them so that when you launch the server, it knows where to find all the goodies that it needs to run successfully. So we enter the install directory. As you can see, only two files here. We don't mess with the SQL file. Type install. That's it. Now to launch the actual server, we just go to the bin directory, which contains the two files of utmost importance to us, lucidDB server.bat and SQLine client.bat. Starting the server is as easy as typing lucidDB server.bat. And since I've done this previously, Windows won't pester me about any firewall allowances. It will most likely ask you. Now it's listening on an HTTP port 8034. Let's try connecting through the SQL line client. Again, let's make sure our Java home and vari variable is set. Go into the Lucid folder and the bin directory and run the SQL line client.bat. We've successfully connected, otherwise, we would have received an error here. Some helpful commands are exclamation point help and of course exclamation point quit you can do nice things like listing tables by exclamation point tables and one of the nice things about lucid is all of the interesting commands and functions available to you can be queried out of tables they're all located in a schema called sys underscore root so if you wanted to find out, for instance, what functions are available to you, you just do a select star on it or other kind of query. And there you go. So let's quit the client and shut down the server. 
Before we go, I want to point out where the JDBC driver is that allows you to use other client software to connect to it. There is a plugin directory located in the base folder called plugin, and inside of it, it, it contains a couple of jars. The one that you will use in other clients is lucidDB client.jar. Setting that up to work with Squirrel will be covered in another video. Now let's shut down the server. We can shut down the server by typing exclamation point quit. That's it. I hope you enjoy using your server.